A professor at UConn develops a groundbreaking technique which could soon change the way women live their lives after breast cancer. News of Connecticut's Mark Sudol spoke with her and has the details. This work is the culmination of my 20 years of being here. Dr. Lisa Kuhn, a biomedical engineer at UConn, has used her dentistry background to develop individually designed prosthetics for women who have had a breast removed. We're applying a pressure to the back of a loaded syringe cartridge and we build up layer by layer with a very soft material. Kuhn is using a 3D printer to make these soft, compressible structures that are used as bra inserts. She's perfect. Jan Figueroa from Cromwell was her motivation, becoming her very first patient. I would do anything for Lisa, so I said, sure, I, I'm game. They became friends after Figueroa was getting testing done at the Yukon Health Center in Farmington back in 2016. She was really frustrated by the options for bra inserts after a mastectomy. This will form to exactly the way you want it on your body to look like the existing breast that you have, so there's no difference. Figueroa says she didn't want to have a breast implant, so this was a simpler option that has now changed her life. You want to look good. You want to look pretty. You just want something that you were before that you aren't now. Kuhn says she has gotten funding from the Beakley Family Foundation and the Connecticut Breast Health Initiative. She's been able to offer this as a free service, but the one 3D printer she uses costs $100,000, and it takes a week just to print one of these prosthetics. It's so exciting to me because this isn't the only place additive manufacturing is going to make a difference to the medical field. I think we're just on the cusp of some very exciting things. Kuhn says she is also working with women in other states who can send her 3D images from their phones. The computer modeler would create the file. We send it to the printer, get the part, packed it up, put it in the mail to her. A project combining education and patient care in a unique way. Mark Sudol, News 12 Connecticut. And Kuhn says she has applied for a patent.